What's gonna happen if I go forward like you just told me to? Once again, you guys, I'm camping out at one of the most haunted forests in America. I'm all alone out here. There is no one to save me. I don't have a vehicle. I think there's so many Listen. This forest has claimed the lives of many people. I swear to God, there's a car at my campsite. I'm hiding in the woods right now with my lights off. Can you please get down here? Alright everybody, so today is a day of redemption. I'm gonna be solo camping once again at the campsite that I was at in my last video. You guys saw me leave in the middle of the night because of all the craziness that happened, but uh, today I was just dropped off by Jazz behind me in his camper van. Um, the crazy thing about this is that I cannot leave. I literally cannot leave today because my ride is right there. There's my wheels. Thank you, I appreciate it. Yep. Before Chris says anything, I promise you this was his decision. He said he wanted redemption for last time, and I said, all right, you sure? Yeah, there's a bed right here for you. And he said, no, no, I want redemption. So, and his idea of redemption was a Dybbuk box. I forgot to tell you guys, I brought the Dybbuk box. Psychopath. Still over there with my stuff. Uh, I have a tent, a sleeping bag, my boots, and then the box with the Dybbuk box in it over there. Um, in my backpack, I have some food, some camera gear, and that's about it. It's been raining all day. I was gonna end up starting a fire, having like a nice campfire all night, but it's too wet to do that. So um, I'm gonna be making some food though. I do have a little gas burner with me. And yeah, I told you guys I need redemption. I left early last time. I left at like one in the morning. Kind of lame. So I can't, I literally cannot leave. Like you're, you're my ride. Yeah. So it's 6.42 right now. Um, sunset's in about an hour or so. Uh, I say let's meet back up in about an hour and a half, two hours, kind of share some experiences. I'm actually gonna eat dinner first. I got my Chipotle. Okay. And then I'll probably start trekking around but um are, are we gonna like send pigeons with notes to each other or how are we gonna communicate Damn, I, didn't think about that. I mean i i had like a, i had roughly a bar once in a while last time okay. so we can just pray okay yeah we could send messages by prayers yeah we'll, we'll pray i'll be like oh, and hopefully Please. you hear it <laughs> Hopefully, yeah. I don't know. You guys know this forest is wild, but I, I'm, I'm, I gotta get my camp set up, set up. So I'm ready. I gotta go. I got stuff to do. I camp set up. Good luck. I'll see you later. Hopefully, maybe, maybe not. Good luck. Yeah, you guys. I don't know. I'm kind of excited about this. Uh, again, I, I just felt like after last time. He's gone. That's it. So like I was saying, you know, I, I don't feel like I did a very good job last time of, uh, I don't know, just, just being a, a camper. You know, obviously when you camp, you're supposed to <laughs> set up a tent and stay and actually sleep through the night. And, you know, I was really uncomfortable. I haven't really done any like true solo camping like that in a long time. And I was kind of feeling bad and I felt like a chicken. But you guys in the comments were very supportive. Everybody was like, no, listen, like it was really scary. I probably wouldn't do that myself. So I do appreciate you guys being supportive on that. It is a lot muddier this time, and uh, yeah, I don't know. It's just a, it's gonna be a weird night, but I came back to this site because of all the craziness that happened over here. You guys saw that video, the noises, the whistles, the things that I thought I saw, the things you guys saw on camera. Um, I don't know. It's <laughs> like it's very beautiful right now, but silence, right? Oh, I'm hearing something. I don't know what it is. could be water i guess um i do also want to apologize um <laughs> I, i'm really fat obviously and i do have trouble breathing sometimes but i feel like garbage um i almost bailed tonight i'm very sick we just got back from indiana and i'm all stuffed up hello can i see anything back there either way i'm very sick i'm gonna push through this but i feel like freaking garbage i really do hard to talk um i'm very nasally congested i don't know if uh one of you nice people got me sick this weekend but it is what it is 
Uh, either way, though, I'm here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to camp. I can't guarantee I'll have the energy to stay out as late as maybe Jazz is going to, but um, we're camping here tonight. We're staying the night. So if you guys enjoy these solo camping videos, make sure you smash that like button because if you guys don't like them and you guys don't want to watch more of them, uh, you guys, you know, leaving comments and leaving likes on the video is a, literally like a true representation of how you guys feel about the content. So if you guys want to see other things, I need to know about it. So make um, sure you guys throw in some love or hate, you know, obviously good and bad. I take all criticisms fairly. So yeah, I'm going to put my backpack down right now. I do have an emergency Chipotle burrito that I'm probably going to snack on right now because it's still a little early and I kind of want to eat, but um, spirits of the forest, if there's anyone out here, come on out and talk to me. I'm going to be sleeping here tonight. Um, I'll probably end up just putting my tent like right there. Um, it's a little bit muddy, but I think it'd be better if I'm over by the water. Probably more activity and everything. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's going to be a weird night. Also, if you guys don't remember, I ended up finding this phone last time. Cricket, I don't know. I, I didn't really do anything with it because I ended up leaving a couple days after that camping video that you guys saw. So my plan is to try to get it fired up if I can and see if there's anything on that phone. I don't know what there is, but I don't know. I'm kind of curious. It's really weird. Um, Tell me back here not having wheels. Like, I can't leave. Like, my stuff's right here. <laughs> like I said, I brought the Dybbuk box. The Dybbuk box is right there. But I'm here. Like, it's just me. I'm all alone. Uh, this forest is really cool, but it's also really creepy. Are you hearing birds? Definitely a car coming right now, but it's fine. I think there's a car coming. So I just saw a headlight right there. I don't know. I do apologize. I don't have my microphone on yet. I'm just hearing things already, I guess. I don't know. It's just one of those things. But um, I'm going to grab some of my stuff right now. Um, so I got my mics, and my camera lights, and cables. I got my boots this time as well. Because if you guys remember, there's also a trail down there. Um, I tried going down the trail last time, but it was way, way, way too wet. So I'm going to try to make it down there this time. I got my boots. It's down that way a little bit. Got to keep my camera dry, too. It's going to be kind of a challenge tonight. I gotta, I'm just, I'm like praying that it doesn't rain too much. Because if we do get a lot of rain... I'm gonna be in trouble there's not really much i can do about it though so guys please don't forget to as you're watching this video if you do see or hear anything that i don't discuss or you don't hear me acknowledge please leave a timestamp of when it happens in the comment section and let me know um, that's really important because again during editing sometimes we go kind of quick trying to get these videos out for you guys we do miss things so we're not perfect so sounds like another car but i've yet to see a car come by so who knows? Who knows what goes on in this forest? Just one of those things. Paranoia is real. When you're out here by yourself, all alone, no one's coming in to save you. I promise you that. But I'm actually going to stay, you know? Like, I don't really have a choice. Just trying to get out and be a little bit more uh, brave and uh, challenge myself more. Because you guys are so awesome at showing support. You guys always leave tons of comments and always hype me up about these things so i do appreciate you all so much Ooh, apologize i'm trying to catch my breath this this cold has been kicking my butt i literally like slept into like noon today i was on the couch for a couple hours i couldn't really move just sore kind of beat up feeling a little bit defeated but not gonna let it defeat me we're gonna have a good night hello It's like someone walking on the rocks. Did you guys hear that? <laughs> Hell if I know. Um, it probably doesn't help that I have the Dybbuk box. Um, I might have brought it with me. Yeah, I think I brought it one time with Jazz. We went camping. I think Ben was there too the last time we were all together. And I brought it, but I never opened it. We just had some really weird stuff happen that night. That was the night that I got sick and I almost passed out. I like pretty much blacked out for a second. That was a really weird night. So I just, it's been in my bedroom and I feel like it needs to get out of there because I feel like I see things when I lay in bed at night and I'm trying to sleep. So I'm going to go explore over there a little bit more later because there's some weird things over there. Remember there was also sneakers here last time and they're gone. So 
I gotta hide that address. I want you guys to see my address. I had to ship right to my house. Share my stuff. Voila. We are off to the races, you guys. I try to leave this recording without cutting as long as I can, so. Let's see what we can do here. Whew. Oh. I really should have my boots on already. These boots aren't even great because the bottom of these boots are like totally flat. Um, these are more for like fishing and stuff. They're not really like mud boots. Like that's going to be a little bit rough, but we'll be all right. I'm a camper now. I got this. I also think it'd be kind of cool to go check out that trail. I got a little bit down there last time and I got a little bit freaked out. So yeah, I'm gonna try to give you guys more in this video. That's my goal. Just to do more than I did last time. Hello? I do apologize because I did not want to cut this video, but I literally feel like I'm going to pee my pants. So uh, give me a couple minutes, guys. <laughs> I'll be right back. I hear an airplane. I'm very well aware there's an airplane. There was like a really weird like humming like whistle that sounded like it was more ground level down here. I don't know if the microphone's picking that up. I still have not put my mic on yet. I literally just used the the restroom. Um, I picked a tree. I was. That was so strange. Like I said, it's been like 30 seconds. I have not seen or heard a car. Nothing's gone by yet. Not a single person here. Uh, Jazz is at least probably two miles away from me because there's not a lot of pull-offs from what we've seen in this forest. So I'm going to grab my mics and set my camera up and I'm going to get campsite set up for the night. So um, yeah, just going to be a fun one, you guys. Let's do this. All right, so I just want to make a note of this. This is literally just for documentation purposes. Um, I had like a newer white Jeep just pull up. I don't think it was anything malicious or bad intent, but uh, they did. Okay, I could hear them coming. They pulled into that spot right there. They literally pulled in right there. And I, I stood here just so they could like be on my line of sight just because I didn't know if they were going to hang out there or they want to come to the water. I don't know. Again, I'm not like worried about people. This is state lands. People are going to come out, but... So like for documentation purposes um yeah service is not existing i tried calling jazz let him know but nothing so uh yeah i'm literally just uh <laughs> changing my shoes right now i got my, my boots on getting the campsite organized a little bit i'm about to start filming i'm gonna get my tent set up i might start the fire soon and maybe cook probably be better to get my cooking and stuff done i can clean my pan off in the water um it's really tough when you're limited on supplies out here um, it's a little nicer when you can cook and then clean up right away. Otherwise, I got to sit out here and have a pan that's dirty and potentially detract animals tonight. You do have to worry about that. Obviously, those big furry critters that like to invade your campsite because they're hungry. So I'm trying to be a little bit careful with that. I'm not sure if the, like, the mic that I'm using, my phone mic, is picking up any of this stuff. But again, obviously, it's rained. You guys can hear the, the water droplets, but... Just weird sounds, really weird sounds. And there's just a weird vibe in the forest. There always is here. So <laughs> yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying it. Again, leave some comments for me, some timestamps if I miss anything. And I'm gonna keep getting ready and then we'll start filming here in a minute. So so this area is really, really big. And again, that Jeep just came by, white Jeep. I don't know who they are, what they were doing. Um, I've heard some yelling up there. Don't know if they were having an argument or what it was. <laughs> it's never when I'm recording. I had my arms deep in my backpack trying to grab some stuff, but I just came out by the water because I've been trying to call Jazz, but it's not working. Service isn't going through. I was able to leave him a message, so hopefully he gets it at least, but yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm enjoying this side of it right now because I'm not like uncomfortable. It's obviously beautiful out here. You guys can see the views. It's so nice, um, but yeah, I am going to get some spirit box stuff going in a little bit because... Uh, I feel like last time I was in here, whatever was here did not want me here. It was so clear that it didn't want me in this forest. Um, it told me at one point, as soon as I walked out, like to thank you for leaving or whatever it said. I know th those of you who watched the video um, will remember that. 
but just a lot of energy here. Um, if, you're, if you didn't watch that last video, um, I'll say it one more time, just kind of briefly. I know the whole story, but I try to keep it brief. I don't want to give too many details, but um, an older gentleman, I think he was in his 70s, uh, at one point came out here. He launched his boat in the water. It's probably a small boat, launched his boat in the water. And he ended up jumping in the water and taking his own life um, because he found out that he had a disease, an illness, and he did not want his family to have to live with that and you know had to watch him go through that. Very sad. Um, not using names, I did, I did, you know, ask questions about it in the spirit box and with the EVPs last time. Maybe that was wrong, but um, at least you guys kind of, you know, I'm trying to be as respectful as I can because someone did pass away out here. Um, just something to take note of. Uh, again, it might not be anything big or a big deal, but uh, you just never know out here. So, anyways, you guys, uh, we're gonna keep rolling, keep filming, just documenting purposes for you guys, so you know what's going on. And obviously there's more stories about this place. And I'm going to tell you guys some other stories that I heard about other forests. I, I thought it'd be kind of cool to do like a scary stories while I cook type of thing. So I took some stories from the internet from real people. And I'm going to read them while my uh, steak is cooking tonight. So it should be a fun one, you guys. I just appreciate you all being here. Seriously, thank you all so much. It does mean a lot to me. It's really sad. Um, I was just down by the water, just kind of standing there, you know, taking in the views, sunset and everything. And I don't know, just that story kind of just hit, it hits me hard. Um, seeing your loved ones get older and everything, you know, grandma, grandparents, family, friends, people get older. And like, I think if somebody would come out here and like, and I'm not faulting them at all, but just the thought that someone did come out here and you know, felt the need to end it all because they didn't want their family to deal with their illness is just so sad. Um, you almost kind of feel some some grief when you stand down there. It just feels almost empty in a way. It's crazy that an area so beautiful like that can feel so just I don't know. Just just feels sad. You can you can feel it. You know, just I just picture dive team. You know, search and rescue efforts and things taking place down here and like it's. I'm, I'm not crying. I'm a little stuffed up, but I don't know. It's just hard to to imagine all that. You know, again, it can be such a beautiful place. Have such a rough history and a rough past. On top of you know rumors of people doing that same exact thing, taking their own lives out here. Not just that story, but there's more than that. Uh, I don't know if it's because this forest is so desolate, so far out in the middle of nowhere. Not really much human contact. I'm guessing that could be why. I don't know. I just feel bad for people. It's really sad, but I don't know. You got to reflect sometimes. You got to just be thankful. Appreciate, just just appreciate everything you have. Be grateful for, you know, whether or not you can walk or whether or not you have legs. You know, just the fact that you can breathe, whether that's by a machine helping you or not. You know, just, just to be here and to exist on this planet right now. Um, I feel pretty, pretty lucky, pretty blessed. Call it what you want. You're gonna have good days, you're gonna have bad days, but uh, I just try to make the most of every situation. You know, definitely a lot of blessings in my life and dream job, amazing supporters like you guys. Uh, I just wanna thank you all for, for always being here, being so supportive, always sticking through everything, you know? Sometimes I don't upload for a while, or maybe I upload a video that's not super exciting, or I just don't respond to your comments. It's just little things. I apologize for that, but I also appreciate you all for always being so patient and understanding and so loving and warm and grateful. It does mean a lot. I don't know. It's got a little, I didn't mean to bring it to that level here. It's got a little emotional. just wanted to reflect a little bit because I'm going to spend the night in this beautiful place. It might be scary, but it's gorgeous. I'm going to have food to eat. I have water to drink. I got a place to sleep. Nothing else is really that bad, you know. I'm doing pretty damn good for myself. And yeah, just feeling feeling appreciative right now. All right, so I thought this was pretty cool. I'm gonna clear out my area here because I'm gonna sleep right over here. The only bad part is that it's a little bit muddy. So I have to do some cleanup this week, but it's okay. Um, but this right here, this little tent, <laughs> this thing is a tent. Very small, but it does turn into a tent, which is super cool. Um,
very cold today. You can see my breath. I don't know what that was. Just listening for a second, but yeah, either way. <laughs> like my other tent's really cool, but this is even better. There's people leaving their messes over here. Should I clean up some of this? I don't want to be laying on glass tonight. I know what you guys are going to say. You know, when I open this, you're going to be like, this isn't the biggest tent. And I'm aware. But for what this is, and the way I'm able to conceal this thing, super nice. Comes with stakes. Keep her planted. But you just take this out right here. And then you just switch these around. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That's her. It's not the biggest tent, but I will be able to just lay out. It'll be just enough room for me to lay out like I need to. Like I said, like the whole convenience of being able to like fold it up in that little circle like that, clip it to my backpack and not have to worry about like sleeping arrangements. Again, I got a, a super thick sleeping bag. Because it's been so cold lately, it's gonna be so nice tonight. I haven't even used this thing yet. It will never go back in the bag. Like it came out. Hello? Whistle? Hope someone else heard that too. Like I said, just enough room for me to lay out, catch some sleep later tonight. I'm gonna be perfectly fine in this thing. Um, you probably fit two people in here, honestly. Like, Myself and the lady camping this thing. We'd have zero issues. I'm gonna put the stakes down in case it rains or it gets really windy or anything. For the future reference, I'll probably bring a tarp or something. It'd be a little bit nicer just cause I'm probably gonna end up having a wet bottom of my sleeping bag. That's okay. It's not come as prepared as I should have. If it gets that bad, I'll go find Jazz, sleep in the camper van, but we're gonna try not to. The goal is to sleep in here all night. No ifs, ands, or buts. I'm just seeing things. Definitely seeing some, some weird things here. See what I'm saying? Stuff's all kind of like wet. It's the only bad part about camping tonight when it's muddy like this. But I think we'll be okay. Probably not gonna be the warmest tent, but a tent nonetheless. I think it might be time to go explore that trail I wanted to check out last time. I think that'd be kind of cool before it gets super dark. I don't know, there's a bunch of trails around here. I kind of want to explore a bit. Maybe I'll head that way first. I'll save that scary trail for later. I don't know. I know I can't tell, but what do you guys think? It's starting to get dark and I'm getting a little nervous. I can't lie to you guys. It's gonna be a scary night, but I'm ready for it. I'm gonna eat some of my uh, emergency Chipotle burrito. Road trips are a little tricky. Uh, so I had a little like cheat weekend. You know, typically I've been doing the whole like carnivore diet thing. I don't call it a diet, it's a way of eating in my opinion, but I've been really enjoying carnivore. Uh, I did have some <laughs> junk food this weekend. It wasn't great. So today's my last day. I'm gonna enjoy this beefy burrito. And then tomorrow we're back on the wagon. But I do have a nice steak to cook up later. So we're gonna make some steak in a couple hours and we're gonna tell some scary stories. I'm looking forward to that a lot. This thing. Hello? It's a big girl. I like the gold wrapper too. Feeling like royalty out here. It's so good. Sound like a voice down there. I know I'm gonna keep the camera rolling for a bit, but I'm gonna eat quick and then we'll, we'll head down the trail and get exploring. So I don't have a ton, um, I didn't have a ton of cash, but I wanted to get myself some tools for camping. I got a nice backpack that's sitting right there. It was like $70 for a camping backpack, but got me one of these like skillets, these little uh, cast iron skillets. Now, isn't it true you're like not supposed to wash them or something? Or you like oil them up? I've heard some rumors about these things. Oh, I'm sure this, really? They put like super glue on here. 
I'm gonna pick that up, I promise. But there's like a piece of glue stuck. I guess that'll just burn off when I start cooking, but what are, like, what are you supposed to do with these? Can you guys let me know in the comments? Like, are you supposed to oil them? All you chefs out there, do I really not wash it? Like, are you supposed to like save it, right? Like you don't wash it and the, the grease stays on or something. It makes it cook better. I don't know. Either way, I'm just gonna give it a shot tonight. I'm just gonna wing it. Never really used one before, but got all this plastic and stuff out here still. Yeah, I'm looking forward to tonight, you guys. It's gonna be a fun, fun camping adventure. Did you hear that? I don't know what that was. I don't know. Either way, I'll blur that out. I just caught because I don't want you guys to see that. But yeah, I got my backpack. Camping stuff's there. There's the tent. We're out here. It's going to be my home for the night. Just got to be careful walking down here because it's super sketchy. At least my feet are going to stay dry because this is very mucky. Sorry about that, it's coughing. I wish we had a boat. It would be cool to go in here and just like do some fishing or something. Next time I come, I will bring my fishing pole. But yeah, while we're here, I respectfully would like to do a um, quick EVP. You guys can see we're rolling. Just want to know if there are any spirits or any entities, anything here that can hear me. Could you just make your presence known? Say hello. Let's play that back. See, we're rolling. Just want to know if there are. Any spirits or any entities or anything here that can hear me? Could you just make your presence known? Say hello. I'm going to play it again. Right there. See, we're rolling. Just want to know if there are any spirits or any entities or anything here that can hear me. Could you just make your presence known? Say hello. I don't know if you guys heard that or not. It's hard to tell. I'm gonna do one more. Can you guys let me know if it is safe to camp out here tonight? I'm gonna make an attempt to camp in my town all alone out here in the forest. Please let me know if I'm in any danger. Trying to focus. I see anything out there? Please let me know. I have no idea what that was. Holy shit, it sounded something like crashed. It was a tree branch or?
Hello? Where did that come from? That was such a loud splash. It's actually crazy when like it's I'm fine, I'm alone out here, but like it's crazy how scary it can be. It's still daytime and it's this freaking scary, you guys. Holy cow. I don't feel right now, but I'm gonna change my battery really quick. I think it's time we go explore some trails. What do you guys think? All right, you guys, so I've actually uh, packed up all my stuff. Not because I'm leaving. Um, I just have my tent behind me, as you guys can see. It's all right there. My Dybbuk box is in there. Um, but I just have my backpack, because I wanna go into the forest and explore a little bit. I'm probably gonna bring out some paranormal devices and see if we can get any answers. I'm kinda curious, I wanna ask about some of the stuff that we found over there. Actually, I'm gonna go show you guys really quick. Let's go walk over here, because last time I was here, I told you guys, I did find a phone. It was very strange. The way it was just in the weeds. Seems like a very nice phone. So I keep getting that same like sound. It sounds like a freaking car's coming, but nothing ever shows up. Well, except for that one time, but. So I'll show you guys really quick. So that's where I am again. Last time I was over here, um, I found that phone. Like I said, it was literally over here. It almost looked like someone was in here looking for it. Yo, look at that. See, there's pants. So much stuff down here. Like food, drinks. Obviously, it probably means nothing. This is just literally just a pair of pants. Somebody probably dookied in them or had a good time and used them for cleanup, but it's just weird to me to leave a actual cell phone behind. I mean, this isn't like a super nice phone, but it's a phone nonetheless. It doesn't do anything. I forgot destroyed by the water. Um, a little bit later, I'll try to plug it in again, see if I can get any power to come from it. Maybe I'll try to see if Jazz can come by and I can try to like, I don't know, get some more info out of it. Cause there could be some evidence and stuff on here. You don't really know. Obviously it's someone's phone, but a little creepy. But I think now's a good time to head off to that trail that's down here. I didn't make it to it last time. And then tonight, what we'll on the big boy in the darkness all alone. That's probably where I'll open my Divic box. I don't know what's down there. It could be nothing, but I think if anything, it'll be really creepy. So one of the only bad parts about my tent that I have is that it's so bright. It doesn't really allow me to hide. <laughs> it's got that orange side to it, but it's okay. Be as careful as I can be. Obviously being alone out here, this isn't the smartest move, but I gotta make videos for you guys, so. We gotta say a spirit talker out really quick. Here we go. Oh no, my phone is gonna die. I don't have a battery bank either. My phone might actually die. This is not good, but we'll get this going. All right, spirits, my name is Chris. I'm out here in the forest tonight. Don't really know what to expect, but I'm gonna be staying out here all alone. Wow, this is a thick, dense trail. Hello? Is there anything you guys want to tell me? You want me to know? Please go ahead. Say it into my phone. Just got a text from Jazz. He wants me to call him. Let's see if we can call him right now. Yo, bro, I just started walking on a trail. What's up? What the fuck? Is that a light? 
Where, where are you right now? Uh, I just got back in my van. Why? Um, bro, I came back. I went down a trail. I came back to my van, and there was like, like a string wrapped around my doorknob. What the fuck? Are you serious? Yeah, I swear to you, I just rewatched back the footage. It was not there when I went down a trail. Okay, so what do you think it was? You think somebody's out here? Well, Chris, you said you saw a white jeep, no? No, I did, 100%. They have not come back by yet. Okay, so here's the thing. I'm getting my stuff back ready here soon. Um, I'm going to move this from where I am right now because I'll be honest, I don't feel safe. Okay. Uh, that's oh, that's what, fine. What are you doing? What the fuck? Someone's walking. What? I can hear somebody walking. Hello? Those bikers never came by either. I never saw the bikers, but I can literally hear someone walking. Not far from me. Oh, that's fucking great. I mean, I don't know where you are. Like, where are you, where are you gonna move to? Um... I if it gets, just sit here. If it gets that bad, I mean, you can always come down here. It's up to you. No, I mean, I'll go try to find another spot. I don't want to mess up your recording, man. And then, um... No, but we gotta remember safety's first. So, if it comes to it, dude, like, just, just come down here and park and... We can okay. at least bat, we can at least come up with a plan or something because if there's people out here, I don't really want to stay in my tent, vulnerable with a okay. camera and all my equipment, my wallet, you know. Yeah, yeah, all right, man. Yeah, just let me know. I, I kind of got service, I guess. So if you have a bar. All right, bro. Sounds good. Um, yeah, I'll text you some other details I have too. Okay. All right. See. Bye. Kind of weird. Like you started talking around. We haven't got any information yet, but. Jazz thinks that there might be somebody, um, sorry, getting messages from other people. He wants me to, uh, I'm all flustered right now. I don't know. I just don't know, like, what a good idea would be, but. Like, what is that? Something like breathing or something? I don't know, I don't know. Go forward. <gasps> Yo, I said go forward. What's gonna happen if I go forward like you just told me to? Is there something waiting for me out here? What the fuck was that? This might be a trap. This literally might be a trap. Who just made that noise? Oh, trying to catch my breath. Look how long this trail is. So they go so far. It's not like there's someone behind me. Who just made that noise that was so loud? Give me a reason to keep moving. Sorry guys, my girlfriend just called me. Told her I had to call her back. Scarlet. Scarlet? Scarlet. What's going on in this forest? Why does it constantly sound like People are out here walking around because I don't really think there's people. I truly don't.
Guys, I how like bright it looks on the camera right now because like my lights on, but it's so dark I can barely see with my own eyes. <sighs> Carl, I'm gonna keep moving. I'm gonna keep walking on this trail. Are you sure I'm not in danger? Bernadette. All right, another name. Were you guys related? Were you cousins? Lovers? <laughs> wow, it feels so crazy in here right now. What the fuck, is there someone down there? If you guys saw something down there, let me know. I feel like my eyes play tricks on me sometimes, but. Do any of you ladies know what year it is? Do you know that you're not alive? Are you aware of your current surroundings? Oh. Who was that? Or what was that? <laughs> Look, you guys, I keep hearing these weird noises. True. I didn't ask a true question. I guess maybe they know they're dead. I don't know. It's a weird feeling about being out here. But it sounds like things are walking around. You gotta remember, the forest goes so deep. If there are people out here, I'm gonna go. Look at that, it's like a car. But I just don't know why there'd be people out here. I'm trying to figure out like what that would be or why, why there'd be people out here in this forest. You guys enjoy our company. Do you enjoy having us out here? Tree branch just cracked right there. Whistles. There's two whistles. Who was that? Should I keep walking forward? Can you let me know how far to go? Oh. Let's see if this is anything else. I want to take a couple flash pictures. I was hung. Holy shit. What did you do to have that happen? Like, what, why were you, why was your life taken from you? What did you do? I swear to God, it sounds like someone's walking behind me. What the fuck was that? I just saw a fucking shadow figure move over there. I'm actually tweaking right now. Should I keep going? Don't know if that's a good idea, but... Holy shit! What the fuck was that? 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 Guys, I feel fucking trapped right now. I honestly don't know what to do or where to go. There's so many noises Not behind friendly. me. Not friendly. Clearly, the noise that I'm hearing does not fucking sound friendly. Hello?
what is it that you guys want from us? Dragging us out here in this forest. It's bad enough we're alone. Whoa, 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 hold on. What the fuck was that? Hang on. That's like people. Sounds like fucking people. Yo, whoa. Holy shit, yo, it's a fucking door slam. So we're near my campsite. Yo, listen. Another door slam. I think there's somebody in my fucking campsite. Listen. There's fucking people yelling at Guys, I'm carefully gonna walk back to my campsite, very slow, very quiet. I don't want, if there's anyone out here, I don't want them to know that I'm here. I keep hearing things all around me right now. This might be my dumbest idea yet. Maybe camping alone is just not smart when you're in a haunted forest like this. Oh, stop, 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 stop. What the fuck do I keep hearing? What the fuck, what the fuck, what the fuck? What is my fucking mind? Huh. Hello? Guys. Yes. What, what? I need you to get to my fucking campsite right now. So there's a car, there's people yelling, I've just heard people slamming the doors. I swear to god, there's a fucking car in my campsite. I'm hiding in the woods right now with my lights off. Can you please get down here? Yeah, I'm coming. I'm coming. Uh, are you at the campsite? No dude, I'm in the woods fucking hiding right now. Oh, fuck, oh, what the fuck, what the fuck was that? Bro, I'm literally getting down behind a fucking tree. It's not like people are fucking yelling and screaming. I can see a fucking light. I can see their light. I can actually see the fucking light. You see the light right there? Oh, bro, I'm, I'm, I'm coming around. I'm coming around. I'm freaking the fuck out, dude. I don't know what to do. What the fuck? Someone fucking walking behind me. Holy shit. What was that? I turn my light on. I don't know if I should go back or if I should stay. I literally don't know what to do right now. What the fuck is going on? Dude, there's fucking noises all around this fucking forest right now. Call failed. Good God. All right, this is not a good situation. You guys, I'm literally alone right now. Lights out in the forest. There's a little bit of daylight, but there's fucking somebody or something in my campsite. It's making noise. My fucking tent just opened. Did you hear the fucking zipper?
What is that? There's a car right there. Oh god, is that Jazz? That might be him. I'm not sure though. I don't fucking know. I'm trying to stay low. Just in case it's not him. What was that? What was that? It's that fucking noise again over there. I think that's Chaz. What the fuck was that? Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Jazz? Yo! J Yo! Oh, thank fuck. Yeah. I'm good, I'm good. Oh. Did you? I swear to God, I knew it. I fucking knew it. Was it the Jeep? It was white. Bro, I think they won my fucking tent. I swear to God. When you were over, when you first pulled up, I saw you pull up there, I could hear the zipper like this, no lie. And then as you started moving a little bit, I could hear the fucking door slam again. So I don't know if they were like, oh, I just fell. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Sorry for calling you, man. No, you're good. Uh, I'm going to be honest, I'm glad you did because I was freaking the fuck out of it. What happened? Um, well, for starters, hearing voices, hearing screaming, uh, I found a string attached to my van. I, oh, the I, string, I, I know you just told me about. What was that? They left? Yeah. You sure? So, when I was up that road, it looked like they were pulling out, so I completely stopped, because I was like, if they're coming towards me, I can't move, because the road's so narrow. But then they didn't, no one came towards me, so I assumed they went that way. Should we drive that way and look around? I don't know what to do. You want to? I just don't know if I should, like, actually sleep here tonight or not. Like, am I in a bad spot? Is it safe? Like, I know, like, I said I was going to stay, but, like, I keep thinking, like, safety is absolutely number one. And if you're all the way, that took, I mean, you got here quick. I'm guessing you were flying, but if it took that long, I don't know. Some of us actually, like, some of us come up on me tonight while I'm sleeping. Because obviously they know we're here now. They know my tent's here. They know I'm sleeping here. Yeah. You know? I mean, it, if it makes know. you feel any better, what I could do is, it's entirely up to you. If you still want to pursue this camping and the tent thing, I can leave the van there. We could, we could try that, I guess. And then I, that At least we're still solo, far, but right? yeah, maybe that'd be better. Dude, I don't know. This is just a weird feeling. I, yeah, very weird. Um, Whoa. Yeah, I heard that. I heard that. Thanks for coming down, man. I don't know. I'm going to... No, I'm just glad you're okay, because... Uh, Dude, I was so far down. I was like, I was probably... I don't know, I ran pretty far. I was down way down there, but I was hearing so many noises. Yeah, likewise. Uh, I was tripping balls over there. Um, I don't know. Let's just come up with a plan. Let's figure some stuff out. I just need I need a break for a yeah. second, man. I need to talk about the things I just saw. Yeah, I'm putting my camera down, guys. Uh, I'll be back. Apologize. Had a little meltdown on the trail down there. Just the weird things I was hearing and experiencing. Um, Jazz is actually over there right now moving his van um, for now. Maybe, I don't know if it'll be permanent, but for now, he's going to put the, the van right here in this little lot. I'm going to leave my tent right here for now. Um, I kind of want to explore that trail a little bit more, because it looked like it opened up really cool, but I was hearing so much weird things, so much wild noises, and I just don't know what it was. So, 
I talked to Jazz. He agreed to go down and check it out with me. Um, to see if any other answers or anything happens. Um, I don't know. We're out in the forest and we were talking about it. Like, we want to explore. We want to see things. We want to check out what's going on. Uh, we want to see what there is to offer out here. And if any of the history, like, matches up to what we have happened. Obviously, I heard tons of whistling last time and just, like, really weird noises. I've already heard more of it since I've been here today. So, um, that's the goal as of right now. Just to keep exploring it a bit. And probably in like an hour or two, I'll probably start cooking and tell some stories. But for now, um, I want to go down there and just see what's down there. <sighs> Had to get myself together. That was brutal. That was absolutely brutal. I was terrified. But at least we're only a small, small walk from where we were. Which is a good thing. Very good thing. Just such a weird area, you know? And just to find the things we found before, and the noises. Like, it, I don't know if there's any tire prints or anything. Footprints, anything out of the ordinary. I don't know. There's tire marks right there. Someone definitely has recently pulled in again. Whew. Hear that? There's a car coming, I think. Yo. Are you recording? Yeah. Oh. I can stop. I was gonna take a piss. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Well, now that Jazz has an empty bladder and we're feeling good, a little more comfortable than we were. Um, like I said, I want to go on that trail. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, I do have my backpack with me. If something was to happen, I do have um, some butane and a little stove and some raw steak and two bottles of water. So we, we probably hey guys, stop. Cook the steak, share it with them. Perfect. That's it. Yeah. And, and if we had to survive, we could make it out here probably like 12 hours. So I feel pretty good about that. Okay. But yeah, I don't know. I just like just hearing those doors slam. I just didn't know what was going to happen or what could happen. It was just weird to think that. You can kind of see the tire marks. Someone definitely pulled in. Right, right there too. So I don't know if they were trying to look in my tent quick because they didn't see me over here. Which is kind of odd. I don't know. I'm getting a real bad feeling about this because I wasn't too far from you. Yeah. And you said they were driving my direction. Mm -hmm. I'd never seen them. So where they just gone? off the main road. Where, where could they be? They either parked somewhere in between us which could maybe indicate the thing that I experienced with the string. Oh, that's true. Like, in the woods right now? Possibly just, like, camped out? That's a bit odd. That's very weird. But I don't know. I just... Oh, God. You're going to struggle. What? These trails are so muddy. Well, we'll see, if, we'll see if you make it. I don't want you to have some wet toes all night. I mean, not for nothing. I just take them off in the van, right? Oh, that's true. Yeah, you're right. You, you do have a mobile home on wheels. I could always shower. I could. I just go shower in the creek, right? Yeah. The water's very warm, I heard. I don't know if you guys can actually see this, but we can definitely, like... <sighs> see my breath right now. Definitely a colder night than we've had before. Um, maybe we'll run, like, Spirit Talker. And take some... What the fuck? Tree branch or something is moving over there. Hello? Is it honestly possible they could have literally like heard us and ran off into the weeds over there? They could just be hiding over there. They'd be psychopaths. Yeah, I'm okay on that. Yeah. We will find out, I guess, but... I brought your uh, wish cord as well. Oh, we sweet. Try this out. I was wondering where that bad boy was. In my pocket. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, there, there was a moment over there. Like, it's really cold right now. Mm -hmm. There was a moment where, like, I walked and it felt like I walked into, like, the, the frozen beer room at like a gas station. Yeah. It was so That weird. cold. It was that freezing. Jeez. Like, That's strange. It's crazy. I to don't feel know. that. There's I some mean, weird shit going on here. No, that definitely is. Um, I run Spirit Talk, yeah. You want to run anything else? Yeah, if you want to. Maybe just run some pictures once in a while. Yeah. Some flash pics. I could definitely do that. Um, my phone's also going to die at some point tonight. I might have to borrow your van for some electricity. Or I could just live it primitively and not use my phone. Like the pioneers used to do. Yeah. <laughs> Spirit Talker's on. I'm leaving my pocket, see if we get any answers tonight. But um, Spirits, I'm back. I brought company. Myself and Jazz are here. 
I was literally just down this trail and I was hearing the weirdest noises. Some of the craziest things I've ever heard. I want to know who was making those noises. They got the name Scarlet and Bernadette. Don't know how they relate to this forest or who they were. But the first thing oh. it said. That was a whistle. That's what I'm saying, dude. Very high pitched to sound like. Almost like a kid. See, it sounds booming up there. It'd be different if it was windy. But fighting. It's not windy at all. Are there, are there some kids up there fighting? You guys screaming at each other? Is that what we just heard? The, the first like word that I got with Spirit Talker was go forward. I was standing right here. Really? And I got those names. So. so I'm gonna share with you guys later too, but you know how I mentioned the, the several stories that I found about this place? Yeah. One of them was involving like a tragic accident or like a car really? off and, Yeah, crashed off like the, the road. side. Yeah. And it just kept talking about the accident for the spirit talker for me. It was crazy. Jeez. So, um, there, the energy here is definitely high. Yeah. And it seems like there's sev others. several. Others. Oh, I just finished your fucking sentence. Yeah, there are others here. So this is crazy. Cool. Yeah, yeah, listen, listen. <gasps> the water. That's the second time I've heard something loud splash in the water like that. I don't know if... I don't know. I don't know anything, honestly. I'm pretty dumb. Okay. Alright, we're coming back down the trail. What do you want from us? Do you want to use our energy to communicate? Do you want to harm us? Do you want to make us levitate? Do you want some of Jazz's Chipotle? Just kidding, it's all gone. <laughs> yeah, I, I took my burrito down too. I hate this trail. I forget get it done now. Oh! This is creepy. Look at how far it goes. I was in here all by myself in the dark. Carriage. When you're talking about the accident, was it a car or was it a horse and buggy? It was 2021, I believe. Oh. And the spear bucks said 2020s. Who keeps whistling? Can you show yourself? In shadow form? Facts. Facts? I know a lot of you in the comments heard the noises. I also got some comments about people saying that they don't ever hear the noises. Put your headphones on. Listen with headphones. That whistle is super clear. I, got, I guarantee you the mic's picked that up. Something's moving towards us. Something's coming towards us. Yep, yep. Branch after branch after branch. That kind of brings us to that thing we talked about earlier, like with Bigfoot, or what, ever, what the fuck was that? Yep. Hello? Can you shine your light in there? See if there's anything. Yeah. Hello? Ooh. Ooh, ooh. What was that? Well, what is, what is that right there? Look yeah. at it, something's moving. Something's moving over it was over there. I don't know if that means anything. Unless the people that. Is there like. Is that like a analogy or like a metaphor or something? It might be. We should probably look into that more. Because we get that all the time, but well, it never I'm relates. Just take a look. And while Jazz is looking, if you guys have an idea what that could mean, purple hair, comments below, please let us know. I'll pick one of you guys to win a t shirt for spiritfilms.com. Just enter the hashtag purple hair, I guess. I don't know. I'm Fucking voice. Great. It's not gonna work, is it? I feel like there's a deeper meaning. I'm gonna boost you. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna take a couple of photos right now. Yeah, I'll call my light for a second. Do you guys want to show yourselves? Two of us. Yes, there's two of us right now. But if you want to show yourselves, we are here in the dark. All by ourselves. Okay, so I just took these two photos. One is very bright, one is very dark. Okay. If you guys see anything, I'll send them to Chris. We can put them on screen. Yo, what the fuck is going on down there? Uh, I'm not trying to scare you. Whoa. Fucking, was that a growl? Yeah. Yeah. It was a fucking growl. Okay, so what do we do? 
Do we go towards let's, that girl? Let's go a little farther. Okay. Yeah, because that's the smart thing. Right? Yes, that's what we always do. I feel better having someone here, not being by myself at least, so. What if it's up here? Now that is something that crossed my mind because I was eating Chipotle down here not long ago. And you down here to eat your Chipotle? No, I was down by the water, oh, okay. but I could smell it. I mean, they could probably smell it now, but it's coming up the other end. Are Jazz and I going to be bear food? Can you guys let us know? Are we in any danger? I definitely want to cover some ground, but I also feel like getting too far. Of course. <laughs> We're gonna be there, please. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh no! What the fuck? All right, now I'm starting to think maybe that's this is like something we shouldn't fuck around with. It's probably not. I'm not saying that was a bear, but what was that? I will follow you. Okay, that could be spiritual, but. What would you guys do at this point? Would you guys keep going? Or would you guys stay here? Problem. There's a problem. I feel like anyone with 2% of a brain would probably leave right now. I definitely don't have that much. Yeah, I can tell. Okay, so Chris, let's talk real quick for about something. If that car does come back tonight while okay. we're sleeping, and what do we do? What can we do? I mean, we're protected to a certain point, but... Like, this is the thing. Like, we get those people that are like, Oh, why, why you guys leave always? It's like, I left my campsite because, one, I, I mean... That string shit's weird. That's strange. I've had stories, like, before, like, if you find... I didn't believe this. Okay. The fuck is going on? Okay, here, yeah. hold on, hold on. Guard up, guard up, guard up. It's that fucking barrier <laughs> talking to. I fucking hope not. What the fuck was okay. that? Okay, yo, yo. Um, bro, we're barely even down the fucking trail. Who is that making that noise? Owls are signs of death, right? Yeah, I think so. so whistle. Death whistle? Bro, this is one thing after another after another, I know. Alter. Alter? Look, I'm, I'm gonna follow him for a second, but I'm, I personally feel like the smart thing to do right now might be for us to just go back to the van or the campsite and regroup. More to the stories. There's more to the stories. Think about it. Whoa. Wait, wait, yo, Chris. Car? Is that a car in here? Listen. Holy shit, there's a car. Wait, where's it coming from? There's a car coming. I hear it on gravel. If it's that white car, bro. We gotta get the fuck out. Demon. Holy f I think I've had enough signs. What do you think? Can you prove there's a demon here? Oh, jeez. Do you find a light right there? What is that? Oh, it's a tree with fluff on it. Look like a metal pole or something. Oh, it's just got marshmallow all over it. Yeah. Who's down there? That's some kind of demonic entity. Do you have a name? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. All right, dude. I, I don't. Let's we let's like you. let's go back to the van. The demon likes us. That's it's a, great, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm good. On that. No. Okay. The now fuck was we're that? Things behind us and in front of us. Wait, Do you want to be? Wait, listen to that. Door slam again. Chris. That was a fucking door slam. That was a door slam. That was a door slam. Um, Is that another fucking door? I don't I really don't know right now. Try to see if I can see anything. Yeah. 
I'm keeping my light very dim right now. Nose ring. Purple hair and nose ring. I wonder what that means. Um, maybe yes. there's like some sort of demon that's... Possibly. Dude, I don't fucking know. I have no idea what the yeah, fuck to do right now. I feel so vulnerable. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, what the fuck is that with you? I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh fuck, I can't run these fucking boots. It's a river? Stranger. Hell fucking no. Six. Six. Alright. Last time I was here, bro. I'm telling you. Every time I was. Wait, what was that? I was white on the van. Yeah, I was white on. <clears throat> I was here in this woods. It kept wanting me to leave. It like thanked me for leaving last time. It was telling me to get out. Something really fucking bad happened in these woods, I'm telling you. I just don't know, there's gotta be more to the story. Uh the oh, fuck. Sorry, God, it's a fucking shadow figure. Move directly behind you. She likes you. Oh, I don't think she does. Can you tell her to fuck off? Think so, think so. It literally feels like it's impossible to sleep in this forest alone. Something does not want us no, here by ourselves. Wrong. No, that's wrong. It doesn't want us to stay here alone. Or when it says she likes you. But doesn't it usually, like, when we're alone, usually it's good? Usually it wants us by ourselves. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why it doesn't like when you're by yourself. Hear us whisper. Yes. Yes, yes, Yo, yes, yes, yes. So I just pulled this out, Sorry. and I looked at Chris, I was like this, and it said, hear us whisper. Let's cut off our spirit talkers. That is insane. Literally fucking insane. Okay. So, both want to ask a question? Yes. Hello spirits of the forest, my name is Yasko and I'm here with my friend Chris. Can you tell us who are we in contact with right now? Alright, I um, I just want to know why you don't like when people are here by themselves? And why do you always try to push people out? Fuck is someone's fucking moving over there? Sorry, sorry, sorry. For recording. Hello spirits of the forest, my name is Yasko and I'm here with my friend Chris. Can you tell us who are we in contact with right now? Mm -hmm. Alright, I am... Um, what was that? Why do you, you don't like people here by themselves? Why do you always try to push people out? There's a voice right there. You hear like faint whispering. Holy shit. We'll have to listen to this again. Yes. I definitely heard a couple of whispers. I'm pretty sure there was something in there. I'm pretty sure. Thanks, spirits. Yeah, that was sick. Thank you. Uh, I, like, what, like if you were me, would you sleep in the tent or would you go sleep in the van? No. I wouldn't. I'd sleep in the van that has... Basically walls and a roof, personally. Just that. But you said you want a redemption, man. It's up to you. You you can do this. Or you can come join. Uh, there's two beds in there. Or we can share one. But there's two beds. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Since it is. Um, I don't know. I think we should open the Dybbuk box first. I completely forgot you fucking had that thing. That's... 
I guess I don't really think about it. maybe that's why things are so active right now. I don't know. I'm gonna think about it. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. I'm gonna think about it. Maybe I'll sleep in the tent. Maybe I won't. But I do need to open that at some point. I think we're gonna go get in the van for a couple minutes and we're gonna drink some water. Listen to some Morgan Wallen. Mm-hmm. All that <laughs> stuff. What's so funny about that? <laughs> I just you know what to say, I'm so nervous right now. <laughs> I appreciate you guys again for being here. I know this is not going how I thought it was gonna go tonight, but it doesn't always go that way. I don't care what people say, you can say what they want. You guys wanna come here and do this for yourselves, please I, I dare you to stay here alone. I don't think it's fucking possible. I really don't. Jumping in the van really quick, you guys. We're gonna um, film a little bit inside the van. Jazz has some stories he wants to share. I don't know, maybe I'll record some of them. Maybe I'll just steal them from him. But um, I do think it's nice that as of right now, as you guys can kind of see, besides like that little gap right there, the curtain's down there. The curtain's down there. So now we can really see in, which is a good thing. Now I do know it is like a... It's not awful, but it's a bit fish bullish from the back. But with the curtains down on the sides, at least, you're not seeing anything in the van. So that makes me feel a little bit better about it. Um, if you guys have any recommendations on like what we can do to like cover this, I don't know if there's certain curtains they make or things we can get to like cover the windows. Let us know, because it would be nice at the middle of the night if we didn't have to like feel like people were staring at us while we're sleeping back there. Me and Benji when we do sleep back there, so. Um, yeah, you guys. The night is young. I'm pretty sure this is going to be one of our longer nights. I just know it's it's inevitable at this point. But please, at this point, stop the video. Leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I'll extend that giveaway to you guys. I'll give away a couple t-shirts, a couple of the new ransom tees. Um, just uh, hashtag purple hair from earlier. And uh, I'll get you guys all entered to win those. If you guys just have to leave a simple comment. If you never left one before, please leave one. Just say, hi, Chris. This is my name. I'm saying hello for the first time. I'd love to know who you are and what your name is. I do appreciate you guys. And we'll be back here in a few minutes. All right, you guys, so we just got done with a little story time. Jazz had some really interesting stories that I had not known about this place that he had found. And there's a lot of weird stuff here. Now, it's starting to make more sense as to like why we hear so much and why it's so active. Um, again, there was a car accident that was very tragic and fatal here uh, not very long ago, a few years ago. Um, obviously the story that I told about the man who took his own life in the pond. I've talked about that a couple times already. Um, there's just so much, so many rumors, so many different things that have happened that we don't know what they are, why they happen, who haunts this forest. I don't know. Could it be Bigfoot? I don't know. Could literally be anything at this point, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna go make myself some dinner. It's getting late. I do want to eat a little more. I haven't eaten much today. Um, I had that like burrito a couple hours ago, but I haven't eaten a ton. So I'm gonna go over to my campsite where my tent is and I'm gonna start cooking. And I think Jazz is going to maybe just hang out. Maybe he might make some food, watch some Netflix for a little bit. But, yeah, we're just going to take the night as it comes. Um, we're not trying to overdo it. Trying to, trying to put the game on. <laughs> Except there's Wi-Fi, though. That was kind of concerning. Yeah, this is kind of concerning. So it says, Winnegard, 2 gigahertz, blah, 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 blah. Um, which I'm pretty sure is the Wi-Fi to a Winnebago. Or maybe they just needed that, but look how strong the network is. Huh. We don't have our Starlink, which... No, we don't. <laughs> we forgot at the office, but that's fine. I'm trying yeah. to connect my personal hotspot right now. Uh, this, Shocking, it's not working. It's not my hotspot, yeah. My hotspot's name is just iPhone. But, yeah, it's probably not going to work. Some stuff happening out here. Hello. I don't know what I was hearing. Don't know what's out here truly, but. What? I'll shut it off for a bit. Okay. Figure I if I can't get the TV to work, I just chill a little bit. Stop bringing so much attention to myself. It's fine, no biggie. I'm gonna go try to set my campfire up. I tried to blow myself up. I've never used this little stove before, so I'm gonna just. If I hear it. a little bit of an explosion, I'll just 
the pond's right there. Just rinse me off before you give me back to my family. So. Did you say something like drop, roll, and stop or something like that? Sir? No, just kick. Kick me. Let me roll. Uh, Jazz gave me a chair, which was nice of him. So I'm going to try to sit. I don't have a tripod. Apologies in advance, everybody. Do you have a fork? I do, actually. I brought a knife, but I didn't <laughs> bring a fork. I was just thinking about Everything's that. Everything's in here. Yeah, I know. We can prepare. Just living a little primitive, which I respect. You know, I, I was just going to use the knife, but I was trying to think how I'm going to cut it with the knife if I don't have anything to hold it. Do you want a spoon as well? No, I think a knife will suffice. Hair fork. Thank you. Whoa, 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 whoa. And a knife, then? I have a knife. Here you go. Oh, you have a knife? I brought one from home, yeah. Listen, same thing. Oh, I do hear that, actually. It's like clicking. Oh, uh, yeah. It's like someone's, like, trying to open their, their locker in high school. Hey. Chris, I got a plate for you, then. Oh, I got a pan. Oh, look at Thank you, though. that. You're kind of advanced. Not really, but kind of advanced. Oh, I'm gonna try to die out here, so. Uh, um, do you want me to leave the door unlocked? So if you probably, don't... yeah. Leave yourself more vulnerable, just in case I need you to. Yeah, appreciate that. No just leave like one door open. That's fine. Just one. There's things happening out here. I don't know. I'm, I'm a bit nervous. Thanks. I don't know, guys. I'm not sure what to expect. Um, I head back out to my tent. Obviously, it's not my favorite place. It's not where I want to be by myself right now, but I do want to cook me some food. A bit hungry. It's been a long day. Hello? Oh. This sucks. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Kind of sounded like there was someone or something. Moving around. Hi, right, spirits. Hope y'all are doing well today. About to cook a mean steak. If you guys want any of this, let me know. It's gonna be delicious. So, there's nice spirits out here that want to communicate with me. I'm gonna turn my spirit box on right now. You guys want to talk to me right now? What the fuck was that? So, I'm gonna hit that box. I'm just like scream or something. Moan. <laughs> I can't open this damn box. Because. Because? That's all you got to say? It's because? I think I'm crazy. You're right. I am crazy. This is a dumb idea. I have some instructions, I guess. A little danger warning. Like, I know. I know this is dangerous. I'm well aware. Screw this on. It's pretty easy. Who's making all these noises? There's lights on the van. So I don't really know what I'm hearing, but. Alright, we're rolling, folks. Amazing. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it is not amazing after I started my fire. You guys never seen anything like that before, have you? <laughs> I said, how old times not amazing? Oh, that's hilarious, you guys. So, is that old times? Did you used to live out here? It's my little uh, canister. It's cooking. The fuck was that? Hello? <whistles> Jazz? Here's some wild noise, guys. Don't know how to feel about it right now. 
It's definitely not comforting. I just hope that I'm not like, attracting animals. Which is possible when you have food out in the forest. Got us a nice little steak right here, you guys. So I'm gonna get this cut open. I'm supposed to theoretically just put this right here. That's supposed to start cooking, so. Piece of metal just stuck to my light. Uh, yeah, I'll leave this here for a second. Hello? Who's walking around out here? 100 years. You've been here 100 years. Why haven't you left? That's what I want to know. These are moving around me, you guys. What the fuck? Who's over there? Alright, we're cooking. We gotta keep an eye on the fire. On meat. The camera's not focusing right now for some reason. I very carefully do this. This shit moving all over around, around me right now. I'm really uncomfortable. So it's not gonna take very long, I don't think. It's looking very fast. Great. Whoever's out here, can you please come show yourself? I'm not sharing my meat with you, <laughs> you damn ghosts. Do you guys, can you guys smell things? Can you smell the food? I'm just genuinely curious because I know if I was a ghost living in this forest, probably living off nuts and berries, steak probably smells pretty yes. damn good. Hey, what was that? It's a house. There's lights on in the van. Yo, Jazz! <sighs> Not fun when you hear things like this. I just gotta keep positive. And remember, we're gonna have steak soon. you guys. Jazz? There's some wild movements and noises right now. Yeah, I've also cooking. I want to read you a story that I read. So, I thought it'd be kind of cool once in a while. Um, take some stories that I find on the internet and just read them while we're here. The story I'm about to read is just a scary story and it has nothing to actually do with like what we're doing right now. But I thought it'd be kind of neat just to like read I don't know, just some of the story. Um, I'm going to leave the link to the story in the description if you guys want to read it for yourselves and verify that what I'm reading is true. Um, but just read some scary stories. Maybe uh, if you don't like scary Hello? What the fuck was that? Jazz isn't hearing all this shit right now because he's inside the fucking van. It literally sounds like someone's walking down that trail towards me right now. I'm gonna try to read the scary story for you guys. 
And uh, you guys can tell me what you think when it's over with. Right after I flip this thing again. It's all sticking now. That's all that grease around, I guess. I've never used cast iron before, guys, so I'm not sure if I'm doing this right. Turn that down a little bit. So the story goes, I got my first Ouija board when I was eight. Me and my sister begged my mom for it. After a few more bags, my mom finally gave in. A day later, she bought it and the Ouija board was in our hands. It was like seeing your elf on the shelf move for the first time. It was magical. The first time I ever held it. But this story is not one that I want to tell. I don't even know what to tell. I don't know if I was drunk or not, but the last experience I had, I don't even know if it had walked the earth. It all started when me and my sister saw a girl in my parents' closet. I remember her curled up in a ball with a soaking wet white nightgown. Oh my god. Something is walking around out here. Her long black and white hair was drooping over her face, so we never got to see her face. She would be rocking backward and forward, although I never felt scared around her. On the other hand, my sister was terrified. So a year ago, we played the Ouija board inside the closet. We brought the Ouija board out and placed it on the ground along with a planchette. My stomach started twisting and I felt sick to my stomach. My sister did too. That's how we knew she was there. We placed our ring finger and index finger on one side. I had mine on the right and my sister's on the left. We moved the planchette in a circle, asking if anyone wanted to speak to us. My face started getting hot. I remember feeling a force pulling the planchette to gas, and me and my sister both looked at each other. Our face clarifying to each other, we weren't moving it. What is your name? I asked. My voice was low. The planchette moved to A, and then moved to yes. We thought it was Morse code, because they tended to speak in Morse code a lot. A, I asked, wanting to clarify that it was her own... Holy shit. The fucking owl. I pray there's not anything coming right now. Alright, you guys. As I was saying, um, A, I asked? Wanting to clarify that that was her name. Are you a female, my sister asked? Her eyes locked on the planchette. The planchette moved to yes, and we nodded, both already knowing she was, obviously, they said it was a girl. I sighed and shifted a bit uncomfortably from the question I was about to ask. Do you mind me asking how you died? I asked, knowing this could have upset her, but I was relieved to know that she wasn't upset. She thought she was waterboarded in our backyard way before our house was made. She was waterboarded in our backyard way before the house was made. Our backyard was a forest, but it used to be an ocean. Alright, who or what is out here? The story is crazy, and it seems like it's about to get crazier. I think my steak's almost done, too. Oh, this is crazy, guys. My backyard was a forest, but it used to be an ocean. What the fuck just happened out there? Is that a coin? We asked a bunch of weird, stupid questions just to get a good friendship with her, so she knew we weren't just trying to get entertainment from her rather than being her friend. Then I finally asked if she was a demon, and she paused for what seemed like 20 seconds. Oh, I have chills. My throat dropped to my stomach when the planchette moved to yes. Me and my sister kept a straight face, so she wouldn't know that we were a bit frightened. But when the planchette moved to R-U-N, our faces showed our true emotions. We moved the planchette to a goodbye as fast as we could and threw the planchette on the ground before sprinting to the bedroom door, which we hadn't remembered closing. I tried to open the door, but it felt like an invisible force was closing it and shut before I got it open finally. Holy cow. Oh, I have chills open on my body. That's insane. Whew. We ran, we ran downstairs and to our parents. Wow. We ran downstairs to our parents, which were watching a show. I don't quite remember what the show was called. Me and my sister forgot about it after a few days, but a month later, everything got worse. I started hearing footsteps, and so was my sister. I saw even more ghosts and heard more, but A never returned. I'm still hearing footsteps when I'm alone and hearing voices when no one is around. I never looked at my house the same way again. I'm currently in my bed waiting for the noises to start. I don't know if they, I don't know if they will ever hurt me, but I do know something. I will never be alone again. Am I alone out here? Oh. 
That was a fucking girl's voice. Jazz! Hello? I am freaking the fuck out right now. What the fuck was that? All right, you guys, I might actually have to like wrap this up or something. Let me know what you thought about that story. I know I read it a little bit fast. I feel like someone was touching my leg. What the fuck? I'm so uncomfortable right now. I know I read it fast, but I'm just curious. Like, do you guys enjoy those stories? That was fucking creepy. These stories are real. I'll have the link down below. You can literally go read it for yourself. Hello? Is A here with me right now? Okay, all right. Keep hearing whistling. Oh, I'm right near him. Who's gonna answer or not, but... Yo. Are you awake? Yo. Yo. Yo, are you awake? Oh, Jazz. I might be a bit paranoid. To be completely honest with you guys, but I don't know what the fuck I'm hearing right now. But there's some shit happening around me right now in this forest. I don't fucking know what to do. I just don't like the noises I'm hearing. I need to bring better utensils next time too. Crank this up for the finish. Yeah, you guys let me know what you think about the scary story. Scary stories. I don't know. I'm trying to do something different. But I'm very uneasy right now. Even though Jazz is probably 100 yards away from me. I truly think something happened here. Something evil. Something evil resides in this forest. Damn bugs. Service is so weird right now. It's like up and down. What do I keep hearing out here? What is your name? It's weird talking around again. Hello?
What do you guys think? Could you guys do this? Like, would you be comfortable enough out here, like, completely alone? All this shit going on. This thing's cutting very easy. Oh, it's done. Yeah, I'll overcook that. Looking pretty good. This one's not pink, you guys. This one has definitely cooked a lot more. A little more than I normally like, but... What the fuck did I just say? Wrong area. Hello? I'm gonna sleep out here tonight, guys. I really don't, but. What the actual fuck is going on? What I'm gonna do? These owls are so scary. <laughs> oh, all right, I'm gonna get my time to eat for a minute. I know this isn't like the biggest tent and everything, but um, it's gonna get the job done, I think. So, uh, you guys hear that, right? Not just me. I can jazz out here. Watch this. Messages are sending, but they're not sending. I don't want to eat right now. I feel like stick to my stomach. This meat is really tender. Mmm. Holy shit. There's something about meat cooked on the fire. Like whether it's a little mini fire, a bonfire, Butane, it doesn't matter like what you cook with. This shit's amazing. I think it's time to go in the van for a little bit. Fucking whistling, bro.
What the fuck? Hello? <coughs> Yo. Yo. <coughs> Are you okay? Yeah. I called you like 10 times. So I just got all your texts and calls at once. What's up? There's so much shit. I, I'm, I'm hearing it. I'm hearing it. I can't do it. I can't. I was sitting out there myself. I can't fucking do it. What happened? I'm whistling. The fucking owls are like going back and forth with the coyotes that I can hear out there. I don't know, dude. I'm good. I just need to like. Do you want to eat in here? Sit in the van for a few minutes. Yeah, yeah come on in. Come on in. Make yourself at home. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. How's the steak looking? Well, it's one of the best steak ever. Is it still rare as all can be? No, it's actually pretty cooked on accident. Oh, sounds like something I would. I ruined it. No, no, it's great. I'm curious. Let me know down below how you guys cook your steak. I'm like a medium well kind of guy, but I think Chris is like as rare as can be. So. Okay. Yeah, I usually talk to it while it's cooking, and then it talks back to me. It talks back. Yeah. So Chris, can you just sorry, dude? Look. The battery's dead. It's really weird. Like. Jazz was, was getting his mic put on, I was putting my mic on. I wasn't recording. We heard the loudest thud around the side of the van. Yeah, it, it sounded like something just like pounded on the van. Chills right now. Which is like one of the stories here. Yeah. Usually when your van's off and the lights are off, it happened in, while everything was on. Yeah, everything was on. I, I don't really know. I, I almost said, fuck it, let's not do this. But um, I've been holding this off for so long. Um, I'm going to keep it like this. But this is my Dibby that it I was ordered. was really funny. It's like this kind of looks like a Amazon Prime van, and that's an Amazon box. Santal. It's my thumbnail right here. It's my ID card badge. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but no, I I feel like I owe this to you guys too, and I've been wanting to open this for so long, and I just haven't. Um, it's been in my closet. I'm sick of looking at it. I'm sick of seeing things in my room at nighttime when I'm trying to sleep. Uh, my whole thought process behind this was uh, we got in the van, we drove, we probably drove for almost 20 minutes in this forest and found an area that was really far from our campsite. 20 minutes is pretty far, you know? That's, what, like 30 knots or something? Sure. I'm just kidding, I have no fucking Nautical food. knots. Uh, it sounds really cool, but uh, I figured we could walk a little bit, and when we, when we feel ready, we'll just open it. I don't know. I. It, it could be Velveeta, or like crab mac and cheese. Maybe, maybe. Just some noodles in there. But I don't want anything to follow us. I don't want to have any issues. Again, like we, we travel so much. I do worry about playing with things like this. Last time we opened one in a um, tree house, well, when we were staying in a tree house, and things turned up. It was wild. Yeah, so. in, in, in a like very safe, normal tree house, things went Just south. A, totally normal. Yeah, this, I don't, I don't know what to expect with this. I don't know how, they said that there could be three children attached to this box. Children are friendly though, right? So why would it be bad? Yeah, I don't know. I feel like children kind of piss me off sometimes though. You just wanna. <laughs> Sometimes. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. My kids are gross, but um, I would never do that. Which way would you wanna go? Um, I like this way. Can I just hear that fucking noise? Yep. Hold on. Yeah, I like that way. What's the worst that could happen? What are you doing in the van? That's what she said. Let's go this way. I'm gonna open up um, Street Talk and see if it, how it feels about this. Yeah. Whoa, that's a nice hoodie, man. Oh, wow. Do you like that hoodie? I really like it. You like the Chris Baird Films captured hoodie? I, I really like it. Where this can is, I get one of those? This is the front of it. If you want to get one for yourself, you can get one at chrisbairdfilms.com. Right. And every order comes with a signed autograph card. So I would, first time for everything, you know? I got you, Taking man. notes from my friends, you know? <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> yes, <sir. laughs> Appreciate that. Um, I'm running the old spirit talker. Sure. Now, we met some people this weekend at the uh, Paranormal Convention who didn't really like us too much because of, of the apps like this. But I don't care. Because your little spirit boxes you build... So, okay, listen. ...aren't shit. Yeah, a lot of people at the convention told us that apps don't work and it's coincidence. Uh, me and Chris just filmed in the forest and spirit box said help. Right when it said help, there was a box on the floor that said help on it. Just saying. That whole. What are the odds of that happening? Everything. It was talking about the radio. It said yep. outerworldly radio. And it was a help emergency radio. 
So you can't tell me otherwise that there's not something to it. So, and I get, but I keep seeing shit moving over there in that light. Like, I don't know if there's, there's bugs dancing around. It's probably them stupid ass moths. I know. Lamp. Attracted to them. Yeah. Lamp. Moth lamp. I don't want to go super far because if something does get kind of crazy, I would not want to be far from the van. What if we just never went back? Like if we just kept walking. And just, I'm holding the box, you're holding the camera, yeah. the battery never dies, never runs out of memory we card. We just keep going. I didn't. Oh, well, that wasn't you? So it was the moths. It was them. Okay, that wasn't a moth though. Uh, hmm. Whoa. Car? Sounds like on gravel. Should we? Sounds like it's coming from that direction now. That way, right? Am I tripping? Hold on. Watch your back too. Bro, what the hell is going on here? Listen, there's a car coming for sure. There is a car coming here. It's gotta be. Why does this always happen? Um. I wanna hide I don't this. Know. Wait. There's a car coming. There oh, it goes. Shit. Oh shit. Jump out of the way. Get on camera, get on camera. I see him right there. White lights. Speak. I said speak. Is it the same car from before? Uh, I don't know. Hey, what the fuck did they just say? Did you hear that? Did you just yell something out the fucking car? Yeah, what the fuck? I don't... Like, we talked about it earlier. Like, I don't care if... Oh, this just said speak. I didn't even think about that. Oh, I thought it said speak. No, it said speak right when they were over there. And then they just fucking yelled something. But again, like, I don't care if pe people drive by, but the shit that happened earlier with the cars... It's kind of sus. And there's a lot of noises and things happening kinda around sus, this course. Yeah. Heart's racing a little bit. Gets you more worked up than the freaking. Hmm. What do we do? I almost feel. I feel like that was like a sign to like not. Yeah, but we don't listen to signs. <sighs> sorry, sorry to do that to you, Dibby. Hope you're okay. <laughs> so we had a car come through. Real sketchy car. Oh. What? Campsite. My fault. My fucking campsite, bro. Oh. I've been here 1,000 years. Been here 1,000 years. I it, I just don't understand it. What it would be if it was 1,000 years? Besides, like a Native American. So when I say something like that, I don't know what to think. Almost this picture, like, like you know that picture of like the evolution thing in school, and, like the hunched over monkey. Yeah. That's like two steps before the human. That's what I'm picturing. Like, I know that's not the right years, but in my head. Well, there was humans like thousands of years ago. I know, it's just my brain doesn't work. Anyways. <laughs> I don't know. What, what the fuck do we do? Honestly, what do we do right now? Can we open that bad boy? Give it the good old college try. Like right here, right now? Bro, what's the worst that could happen? Do you want to go right to the van or do you want to walk down again? I don't want to go anywhere towards right. that car or... Well, let's put it in the spotlight. Okay. And if a car does come, oh, I'll show that. If a car was to come, and it just happened to hit it, we'll why don't we just run over it? That, that, that was a whistle. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whistle, whistle, whistle. Wait, is that, a, is that a light coming down again? There's no way. There's no way it's the same car again. Oh, yeah, what would they even turn around down there? Is this thing still on? Should we open this box right now? Can you tell me yes or no? I want to hear one more answer from this. Is there any danger with this box? Are there any children attached to the box? Give me any information you can about the Dybbuk box. Yes or no, should we open it? A thousand years. I just don't know what would be. It could be a demon. No, it could be. It could be an angel. Why would we just assume demon? What if it was just like nice spirits, you know? Doubt it. But it's opposite day. No, it's not. Not even close. Oh. Adult. Adult. What the fuck was that? Something just moved over there. I just asked those kids. Right. It's an adult. Well, remember, 
there could be some malevolent energy attempting to impersonate yeah, to poison yeah. like impro trying to be Get like, your yeah guard like, down look at me i don't know why there's so much smoke behind you right now all of a sudden oh what the fuck oh my God! <laughs> what the fuck was that okay bro what the fuck is going on right Yo, now get in the fucking it. van this fucking piece of shit fucking box dude fuck this thing Is those people? Did they fucking pull over or something? What the fuck was that? It's not like a fucking human or something, bro. It's not like someone was just charging at us. What do you want to do, Chris? Where's your flashlight? I see it. There's no fucking way there's anybody down here. I'm not fucking buying it. Hello? Oh my gosh. Who are you? What are you? What the fuck? Oh shit. Oh shit. What happened? Fuck this, dude. What happened? Like a fucking scream or something. It was so fucking loud. Bro, I'm done. I'm gonna open the fucking box. I don't give a no? shit. No, I'm done. All right, here's a fucking light. I can't fucking. That was so fucking close to me, dude. Guys, I'm sorry. I don't really care right now. I'm. Sydney had a fucking heart attack. Are you good? I think I just want to go to bed. Why does that box not want to be opened? I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm just going to spell you guys in on what happened about a month ago. Um, my girlfriend, Michelle, was down. And we were in the forest. We were filming a video. She came, to me, she came with me to film a video in the forest. We were so deep down in the woods on this trail. And people showed up. And we were like, oh, it's not a big deal. And then the police came. And they said they were looking for someone who was missing in the woods. And they made us leave. And I just didn't feel right posting that video because like it wasn't it was like 20 minutes in, you know, we had just started. And there was a little girl missing in the woods. And I was just I was just like, I'm not doing this, you know? It seemed like every time that I try to do something with this box, it just doesn't want to be opened. The person was found, by the way. I, I just letting you guys know, like, it, I'm like, making those noises. Oh my god! <sighs> right before that, as I was running, screaming like, like a child, it said two men here. Guys, I'm 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 with Jazz on this. I think I'm ready for bed too. I just this cold's kicking my ass. I feel like shit. And we've both been through a lot tonight, honestly. I don't know. I, I'm I feel like I don't maybe we apologize too much, but I just feel bad. But dude, I'm I'm I don't have any more in me tonight. I don't know about you. Just wanna go to bed. Okay, well we'll leave it at that you guys. We'll uh We'll catch up with you back at the campsite, I guess, and we'll figure out what's next, so. I'm happy for you to stay. Wow. Okay. Um, Literally, just talking about us going back to our campsite and sleeping. I've, I've had enough. Had enough. You guys can say what you want, but you cannot make this shit up. You really can't. This is one of the fucking scariest nights of my entire life. I don't know how much more of this I can take. I really don't. Well guys, um, I guess it's time to sleep. You guess? Are you sure you're going to be okay out there? Shut <laughs> the fuck up. <laughs> Good luck, buddy. You're going to need it. At least I'm safe inside my mind. 
I don't know about that one. You have a pretty deranged mind. Thanks. Yeah. No, I don't know. I, I just assume that maybe like if I just zip my tent up and I have a, an enclosure, that maybe everything will just stop making noise. I'll be safe. Because there's no way that an animal or a person could get in there if I shut the door. Yeah, it's just nylon. Like No, but they wouldn't come in. Why would they come in? I shut the door. True. They physically can't. It's like when you go to bed and you put the blanket over you. Yeah. And the demons can't touch they you. They can't touch you. Yeah, I do that every night. Literally every night, yeah. <laughs> every night. Do you close the closet, dude? I don't have a door in my closet. Just It's just oh, raw dog in it. Phone? It's open. They're just staring at you all night. Yeah, my dead box has been there for like months, so. I don't know wherever it is. Yeah, well, um, like we'll, I said, we'll open it one of these are days. You sure. You don't want to sleep in here. I could pop the top. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. You're a sick individual. I don't want to, but I just feel like I owe the here, people. I'll walk you there. I'll walk oh, you there. that's sweet. Here. I'll at least. <laughs> <laughs> it's the least I can do. It's just spooky, man. I said what? I said you got another one of them fake. I don't right now, but I could probably find one. It's highly recommended. I don't know what I just heard, but I'm just gonna pretend I didn't hear it. I really like that hoodie, by the way. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. You know, you can go to on Chris's website, ChrisRedFilms.com. If you wanna get one today. Woo! Oh, they're 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 just come out of the Easy Bake Oven. Yeah. How can I get the one that's off your back right now? Um. Okay, you might have not heard that. My mic, bro, it sounded like no, I something just like in my ear. It, like it sounded like a, it sounded like a branch or something like moves. What I heard. For me, it sounded like a... in your ear. Yeah, like right here. Hey, where you going? Hey. Fuck that! I want my tent. <laughs> you got room in there for me? Uh, actually, there's barely room for me. <laughs> Shout out to the. <laughs> Do you move for the hookup? Um, just gonna put that in there. Is it gonna be comfortable enough? Oh, it's uh. Mhm. Mm sure. Let's get out. Watch this. You're gonna enjoy this. Honestly, that doesn't look too bad. This is me like. Watch me stretch out. Not bad. Yeah. It's great. It'll work. Right, it's right. really cold out tonight, so thank you. This is actually a really thick sleeping bag, so. You sure you don't want to open this demon right here? This, this guy right here? After what happened earlier, I think, I think we hold off a little longer for some reason. I don't know. You ever flick a demon? Flick it? I, sometimes I kick it into my closet. I'll take it out and look no at it. So I just drop it and I boot it right into my closet. <laughs> There's nothing there, so it just lands on the floor. <laughs> no, the demon wants to come out and kick you across. It, it makes me, yeah, it makes me feel good about myself. Like I have the power, not you. Until you Why is it in an Amazon box? You didn't buy it on Amazon. You bought it no, on but the people who packed it put it in. Like people see that and they probably think I got it on Amazon, but I didn't. <laughs> Wholesale uh, boxes on Prime. Wholesale Apologize, <laughs> <Two days. laughs> you guys. I'm trying to get this all situated here, but um, yeah, I don't know. My camera battery is the last camera battery I have. I do have my phone. My phone's charging. I'm literally plugged into like a bank. I don't know if you can see the. I don't want to move all this, but it's plugged into a cable into a charging bank. Um, it's kind of the best I got right now. I don't know. Tonight's just been a little wild. Obviously, you guys saw everything. Um, I'm trying to get in frame here, but yeah, it's been a wild night. Uh, I'm just glad we made it out safely for the most part. Night's not over yet, but I do feel a little safer in the tent with the door closed. And by little, I mean like a very little. <laughs> I don't know. I guess I laugh when I'm scared too because I'm so freaking scared right now. Jazz in the van. But that's how we do this stuff. Obviously, we. You know, I want to get scared and told you guys I was going to do this exactly. I was going to do redemption. I was going to stay alone in my tent out here. I know Jazz is parked down the road, but it is what it is. Uh, yeah, just let me know what you guys thought about this video. Again, camera, battery's not going to last super long. And I only have like an hour of footage left on my memory card. I don't even care at this point, you know, if I get stuff cool, if I don't get stuff. I just, 
I just want to sleep through the night. You know, this cold's been kicking my butt. I'm so tired. I just feel like garbage. I'm trying to keep good energy and good spirits. It's been really tough tonight. It's been really tough. But for you guys, I give it my all every time. So, I guess I have any recommendations, anything you guys want to see from us, new locations, new types of videos, whatever it is. Just let us know. Gotta give a huge shout out to my buddy Tinsley. Tinsley made this uh, wristband for me. It's got my name on it. It says Chris Baird. Super cool. Uh, she brought it to ISSCon this weekend. So thank you, Tinsley, if you're watching this. I appreciate you so much, and I hope to see you again soon. She celebrated her birthday with us uh, a few months ago at ISS as well for her first ghost hunt, so that was really cool. I just want to mention that before I went to sleep. So If I get anything, I will uh, share it with you guys. Hopefully not, obviously. But yeah, if anything happens or anything changes, I'll update you guys, uh, whether it's my phone or my camera. And that's about it. I'm going to lay my head, put, the, put a podcast on, and try to knock out. So I love you guys so much, and thanks for all the support. And we will probably see you in another video, as long as I don't die tonight. So, peace. <laughs> Hello? Jazz? <laughs> the fuck was that? Hell to the nah, hell to the nah. I wish I had like a padlock I could put on my tent so I could sleep. This shit fucking sucks, I'm telling you guys. Ugh. Go do regular jobs, don't be YouTubers. It's not worth it. <laughs> it's not worth it. Ugh. I don't even know, I don't have a good pillow. Put it up, I guess. Jazz? What the fuck was that? It sounded like something was like moving around outside the tent like really fast. I'm not sure if Jazz is trying to like get a little sprint in or something for the before he goes to bed or what the fuck, dude. Oh. I'm so freaked out. There's also a giant spider in my tent right now. I'm gonna try to get him out without him escaping farther into the tent. Come here little buddy. Get into my hat. Don't lose them. All right, spider's gone. Oh, thank God, that would have sucked. Oh, that was a big boy. That was one of them big spiders. I can go back to sleep.
Chaz? Is that a fucking gunshot? Hello? Is there anybody out there? I saw a lot of fucking... I saw just reflected off my light. Way down there. What the fuck was that? Is that a flashlight? What the fuck? What am I looking at? I just want to fucking sleep. I feel like garbage right now. The cold is kicking my ass. What the actual fuck was that? <sighs> She's just going to sleep on it. I don't want to know what that is. All you know is that it's, it's Jazz walking around. In the mud or something. As I told you earlier, like I literally, am, I'm just sick. I don't feel very good. I feel like I just keep getting woken up by little dumb things. Nothing, nothing is out there. There's, I've not seen a single fucking thing. I know my attitude's kind of shitty right now, but I just feel so shitty. I just want to sleep. I want to wake up. I don't want some coffee. I just want to have a regular day tomorrow. Oh, man. Hmm, I'm going to sleep. For real this time.